Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O oh Lord, come let us worship. Come let us worship and bow down before God, God our King. Come let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Bless the Lord of my soul. O oh Lord my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with water, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the winds, who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on his stable foundation. It should not be moved into ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountains. At your rebuke they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them. You set a boundary they shall not pass over, neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sends springs into the valley, the waters shall pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild asses shall quench their thirst, the birds of heaven shall dwell beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountain, mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle, and the green plant for the service of man, to bring forth bread from the earth, and wine gladden the heart of man, to brighten his face with oil, and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nest, the house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer, the cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and it was night wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together, and they should be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth, and the lawless earth to be no more. Bless the Lord of my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and it was night. O Lord, your work should be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, the Honorable Presbyter at the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our president, the civil authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. 
for this city, every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein. Let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, voice of our supplication, work upon a sign for good. Lead us in the, your way that we may walk in your truth. May glad our hearts that we may fear your holy name, for you are great and doest wonders. You alone are God, and among all the gods there is none like unto you, O Lord, mighty in mercy, gracious in strength, to aid and comfort and to save all those who put their trust in your holy name. For unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Okay. Amen. To the Lord in my affliction I cried out, and he, he heard me. O oh Lord, deliver me my soul from unjust lips and from a deceitful tongue. What should be given you, and what add to you against a deceitful tongue? The arrows of the mighty one are sharpened with hot coals from the desert. Woe is me, my sojourning was prolonged. I dwelt with the tents of Kedar. My soul, soul sojourned a long time as a resident alien. With those who hate peace, I was peaceful. When I spoke to them, they made war against me without cause. I lifted my eyes to the mountains. From where, where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let not your foot be moved, neither let him who keeps you slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you. The Lord is your shelter at your right hand. The sun shall not burn you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. The Lord shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep your coming in and going out from this time, present time and into the ages of ages. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet stand in your courts, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city whose compactness is complete. There the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, a testimony to Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones sat there for judgment, thrones over the house of David. Ask now for things regarding the peace of Jerusalem, and there is prosperity for those who love you. Let there now be peace in your power and prosperity in your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and my neighbors, I indeed spoke peace concerning you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I sought good things for you. I lift my eyes to you, who dwell in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hands of their masters, as the eyes of the maidservant look to the hands of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he shall have compassion on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with it. We are a disgrace to those who prosper in a contempt to the arrogant. <laughs> if the Lord should not have been with us, let Israel now say, if the Lord had not been with us when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger raged against us, then the water would have drowned us. Our soul would have passed through a torrent. Then our soul would have passed through a water that is overwhelming. Blessed is the Lord who did not give us his prey to their teeth. Our soul was delivered like a sparrow from the snare of the hunters. The snare was broken and we were delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord.
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and Mother, holy Theotokos, and ever with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O Lord, do not rebuke us in your anger, nor chastise us in your wrath, but deal with us according to your forbearance, physician and healer of our souls. Lead us to your haven. Open the eyes of our hearts with the knowledge of your truth and grant that the remainder of this day and the remainder of our lives may be peaceful and sinless by the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who trust. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. He who dwells in Jerusalem shall be unshaken forever. The mountains surround her, and the Lord surrounds his people from his present time into the ages. The Lord will not permit the rod of sinners to be upon the inheritance of the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hands in lawlessness. Do good, O Lord, to the good and to the upright in heart, but those who turn aside to crooked ways, the Lord shall lead away with the workers of lawlessness. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord returned the captives of Zion, we became like those who are comforted. Then our mouth was filled with joy and our tongue with exceeding joy. Then we shall say among the Gentiles, the Lord did great things with them. The Lord has done great things with us. We were glad. Return, O Lord, our captivity like streams in the south. Those who sow with tears shall reap with exceeding joy. They went forth and wept, carrying their seeds with them, but they shall return with exceeding joy, carrying their sheaves. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord guard the city, those who guard it stay awake in vain. It is in vain for you to rise early, to awaken from your rest, you who eat the bread of grief when he gives his beloved one sleep. Behold, children are the Lord's inheritance, the fruit of the womb his reward. Like arrows in the hand of a mighty one, so are the children of those who are outcasts. Blessed is the man who shall fulfill his desire with them. They shall not be ashamed when they speak to their enemies at the gate. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruits of your labor. You are blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a vine, prospering on the sides of your house. Your children like newly planted olive trees around your table. Behold, so shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many times they warred against me from my youth. Let Israel now say, many times they warred against me from my youth. Yet they did not overcome me. The sinners schemed behind my back. They prolonged their lawlessness. The righteous Lord cut in pieces the necks of sinners. Let all who hate Zion be shamed and turn back. Let them become like grass on the housetops, which withers before it is plucked up, like grass with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the gatherer of sheaths his bosom. Neither do those who pass by say to them, The Lord's blessing be upon you. In the Lord's name we bless you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> again and again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, be mindful of us, your sinful, useless servants, as we call upon your holy name. Let us not be ashamed. For expecting your mercy, but granting, grant us, O Lord, all our petitions which lead to salvation. Make us worthy to love and fear you with all our heart and to do your will in all things. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? 
for there is forgiveness with you. Because of your law, O Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. O Lord, O Lord, my heart is not exalted, neither are my eyes raised up, neither am I carried along in great things, nor in things too marvelous for me. If I were not humble-minded, but exalted my soul, like a child weaned from his mother, so would you reward my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from this present time and into the ages of ages. Remember David, O Lord, in all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord, how he vowed to the God of Jacob. I shall not enter my dwelling, I shall not recline on my bed. I shall not close my eyes in sleep, nor my eyelids for dozing, nor give any rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah, we found it in the plains of the wood. Let us enter into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet stood. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you in the ark of your holiness. Your priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness. Your saints shall greatly rejoice. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away from the face of your anointed. The Lord swore to David this truth, and he shall not reject it. I shall set upon your throne one from the fruit of your loins. If your sons keep my covenant and these testimonies, I shall teach them. Then their sons shall sit upon your throne forever. For the Lord has chosen Zion, he chose her for his dwelling. This is my place of rest unto ages of ages. Here I shall dwell, for I have chosen her blessing, I shall bless her provision. I shall satisfy her poor with bread, and I shall clothe her priest with salvation. And her saints shall greatly, shall rejoice exceedingly with great joy. There I shall cause to spring up a horn for David. There I prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I shall clothe with shame. Upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Behold now, what is so good or so pleasant as for brothers to dwell in, together in unity? It is like fragrant oil running down upon the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down upon the border of his garment. It is like the dew of Hermon running down upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing and life forevermore. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. In the nights, lift up your hands to the Holy of Holies, and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Are praised with incessant hymns and ceaseless doxologies by the heavenly powers fill our mouth with your praise so that we may exalt your holy name grant us a share and a part with all those who fear you in truth and keep your commandments through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints for you are our god the god of mercy and salvation and to you do we send up glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever and to the ages of angels Amen. Lord, I have cried to you. Hear me. Hear me, O Lord. Lord, I have cried to you. Hear me. Give heed to the voice of my supplication when I cry to Let my prayer be 
he set forth before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Before my mouth, a door of enclosure about my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words to make excuses and sins. With men who acknowledge this, and I will not join with the joyous one. The righteous man shall correct me, and with mercy, and he shall reprove me. But let not the oil of the sinner anoint my head. For my for my prayer shall be intense in the presence of their pleasures. The judges are swallowed up by the rocks. They shall hear my words, for they are pleasant, as a cloud of ground is dashed to pieces on the earth. For my eyes, O Lord, O Lord, are toward you, and you, I hope, take not my soul away. Keep me from the snares they set for me, and from the stumbling blocks of those who work lawlessness. Sinners shall fall into their own net, I am alone until I escape. I cry to the Lord with my voice, with my voice I pray to the Lord. Supplication before him, I shall declare my affliction in his presence. When my spirit fainted within me, then you knew my path. For on the way I was going, they hid a trap for me. I looked on my right and saw there was no one who knew me. Refuge failed me, and there was no one who cared for my soul. I cried to you, O Lord, I said, You are my hope, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my supplications, for I was humbled exceedingly. Deliver me from persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison to give thanks to your name. O Lord, O brethren, as you have undertaken the spiritual fast of Lent, do not let your tongue speak words of deceit. And do not put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother, but rather by repentance let us brighten the lamp of the soul, and with tears let us cry aloud to Christ, forgive us our trespasses, as you are indeed Just shall wait for me until you reward me. O brethren, as you have undertaken the spiritual fast of Lent, do not let your tongue speak words of deceit. And do not put a stumbling block of hindrance in the way of a brother, but 
but rather by repentance let us brighten the lamp of the soul and with tears let us cry aloud to Christ forgive us our trespasses as you are in need benevolent. Out of the depths have I cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice, O martyrs, extol in all the world. You were not concealed by earth, but rather heaven admitted you the gates of paradise. Unto you were open, having gone within you now, enjoy the tree of life, and you intercede with Christ our God on our behalf. You supplicating that surpassing peace and great mercy be upon our souls bestowed. your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. O Lord, by the prayers of your divine apostles, enable us to properly keep the Lenten season with compunction of mind and with heart contrite. O good and merciful one, so that, O oh, as we are saved, we may all glorify you. If you, O oh Lord, should mark transgression, O oh Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. O oh Lord, your second coming will be great and frightening when you will sit in judgment and pass a just verdict. Though I am condemned, I pray you not to judge me, but rather spare me, O God, at the acceptable prayers of your apostles. Because of your law, Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. O apostles of the Lord, for us on earth you are bright stars, and you make the whole wild world rich with the divinely wise knowledge of our God. We extol you in song. You in turn rescue us from temptations by your holy prayers. Guide and support us now to observe the season of Lent this year. With youthful zeal rewarding us with the means to live out our life in peace. So that in a manner acceptable to God we may attain the holy passion of Christ and may offer up our hymns of praise. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. Blessed Father Hilary, you led a holy and blameless knife. You had patience and gentleness, unadulterated love, self-control and virtue. You stood all night praying, you had compunction, hope in God unshaken faith and you sympathized with all angelic was your way of life while you were physically here on earth now in heaven you intercede with the master on our behalf for with the lord there is mercy and with him is abundant redemption and he shall redeem israel from all his transgressions Blessed Father Hilary, you led your led a holy and blameless life. 
You had patience and gentleness, unadulterated love, self-control, and virtue. You stood all night praying. You had compunction, hope in God, unshaken faith, and you sympathized with all. Angelic was your way of life while you were physically here on earth. Now in heaven you intercede with the Master on our behalf. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you peoples. Devout Father Hillary, you have been called an angel on earth and a heavenly man of God, a river of sympathy, a well of compunction, an ocean of wonders, a guarantor of those who sinned, a most luxuriant olive tree of God, with oil of your accomplishments, you cheer the faces of those who sing, and extol you, O saint, whose name is synonymous with cheerfulness. For his mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Your mind was illumined by the light of knowledge, Christ our God, overcoming the bodily passions it remained, untouched by anything worldly, and it bore the signs and characteristics of divine beauty within it, and by the synergy of the Holy Spirit, it was clearly God-like in every way. Now monastics delight in you, O our Father, Saint Hilary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O blameless Virgin Mother, change the frivolous character of my soul and its feebleness to strength and empowerment to perform the statutes and all the commandments of Christ with fear and love of God that I be spared from the unbearable fire and also be an heir of heaven and receive everlasting life all through you, O Holy One, Blessed and be happy forevermore. Wisdom arise. Gladsome light of the holy glory of the holy blessed heavenly immortal Father, O Jesus Christ, Arriving at the hour of sunset And having seen the evening light We praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God It is worthy for you to be praised at all times with happy voices, O Son of God, and giver of life. And therefore the world glorifies you. The evening. Prokemenon. Legal of the second mode, Psalm 31. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice greatly, O righteous ones. Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Then Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod opposite Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Arad, and Arad begot Mahuel, and Mahuel begot Methuselah, and Methuselah begot Lamech. Then Lamech took two wives for himself. The name of one was Adah, the name of the second was Zilah. So Adah bore Jabal. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. 
He is the one who invented the psaltery and harp. As for Zila, she also bore to Balkain, a smith and a, and a manufacturer of bronze and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Then Lamech said to his wives, Adda and Zillah, Hear my voice, you wives of Lamech, and listen carefully to my words, because I killed a man for wounding me and a young man for hurting me. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold. Again Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore a son, and he named him Seth, saying, God has appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, who Cain killed. As for Seth, to him also a son was born. He named him Enosh, and he hoped in the Lord God and called upon his name. For Kimenon Mode 1, Psalm 32. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us. Rejoice greatly in the Lord, O righteous ones. Command wisdom, arise, the light of Christ illumines all force Christu. The reading is from the Proverbs of Solomon. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Drink waters from your vessels and from the fountains of your springs. Do not let the waters from your fountain be spilled by you, but let your waters pass through your wide places. Let them be only for you, and let no stranger partake with you. Let the fountain of your water be for you alone, and rejoice together with the wife of your youth. Let your let your loving deer and graceful colt keep company with you, and let her alone go before you and be with you at all times. For in living with her, for in living with her love, you will be great. Do not be intimate with a strange woman, neither cling to the embrace of a woman not your own. For the ways of man are before the eyes of God, and he keeps close watch on all his paths. Lawless women ensnare a man, but each man is bound by the chains of his own sins. Such a man dies with the uninstructed and is cast forth from the, from the abundance of his own substance, and he is destroyed by lack of discernment. My son, if you assume the debt of your friend, you will deliver your hand to an enemy. For a man's own lips become a strong snare to him, and he is conquered by the utterances of his own mouth. My son, do what I command you, and you, you will save yourself. Peace be with you, the reader. Let my prayer be set forth before you as incense, the lifting of to you hear me give heed to the voice of my supplication when I cry to you let my prayer be said forth before you as he my mouth, a door of enclosure about my lips. Let my prayer be set forth before you as he Oh, oh, oh. 
to evil words to make excuses in sin. <laughs> Again we pray for Archbishop Alexios. Lord our God, accept this fervent supplication from your servants and have mercy on us in accordance with the abundance of your mercy and send down your compassion upon us and upon all your people who await your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind. And to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. That he will teach them the word of truth. Lord, have mercy. That he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord, have mercy. That he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Catechumens, bow your head to the Lord. To you, O Lord. God, our 
our God, creator and maker of all you wish all to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, look upon your servants, the catechumens, and free them from the old error and the devices of the adversary and call them to life eternal, illumining their souls and bodies and numbering them among your rational flock over whom your holy name is invoked, so that with us they also may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Holy and exceedingly good Master, we beseech you who are rich in mercy, be gracious with us sinners, and make us worthy of receiving your only begotten Son, and our God, the King of glory. For behold, his most pure body and life-giving blood entering at this hour are to be placed on this mystical table, invisibly escorted by a multitude of unseen heavenly hosts. Grant that we may blamelessly partake of them, so that having been illumined by them, we may become children of the light and day. And through the gift of your Christ, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh. 
Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον μας. Αμήν. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Διευχών των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Αμήν. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Διευχών των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Διευχών των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Αμήν. Prayers of our Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ of God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Sanctified gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, Danger and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, the faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. 
that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, O Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O God of ineffable and unseen mysteries, with whom are the hidden treasures of wisdom and knowledge you have revealed to us the service of this liturgy, and by your great compassion have ordained that we sinners should offer to you gifts and sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people, you, O invisible King, whose works are great and wondrous, glorious, marvelous, and without number. Look upon us who draw near to your holy altar as the throne of the cherubim upon which rests your only begotten Son and our God through the awesome mysteries offered here. And when you have freed us and your faithful people from all impurity, sanctify your souls, our souls and bodies with a sanctification not to be taken away, so that with clear conscience, a presence without shame and enlightened heart we may participate in these divine sacraments through whom, through them, we are given life, that we may be united to your Christ, our true God, who said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him, so that with your word, O Lord, abiding in us and walking among us, we may become temples of your all-holy and worshipful spirit, having been freed from every diabolical device, working by deeds or words or thoughts. Thus shall we obtain the blessing you have promised us, together with all your saints, who from all ages have pleased you. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrimon, o indisuranis, agiastito to nomasu, el feto y basiliasu, yenitito to thelimasu, O senurano que pitigis, ton arto ni monton abiusion, dos y min simeron, que hace simin tan venimata y mon, os que mis afirmetis valet simon, que mis ineximas aspiras mon, alarisa y mas abudoponiru. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit, let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, Lord. O God, who only are good and compassionate, who dwell on high and look upon the lowly, look with a compassionate eye upon all your people and watch over them. Make us all worthy to partake of these your life-giving mysteries without blame, for it is before you that we have bowed our heads in the hope of your abundant mercy. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind, <coughs> Of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us. You who are enthroned with the Father on high and are present among us and visibly here, and with your mighty hand grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. Let us be attentive, proscomen, the holy pre-sanctified gifts for the holy people of God, the proigas mena agia One is holy, one is Lord Jesus. Christ to the glory of God the Father. I believe and confess, O Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. 
I also believe <clears throat> that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and un unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach for Holy Communion. O Creator, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire which consumes the unworthy. Therefore, teach me, cleanse me with, from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief will I confess to you, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes my mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with, my spiritual, with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with the delight in you so that leaping for joy I may magnify, O good one, your true comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master, who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and for the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, can I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. <laughs> Taste and see that the Lord is good. Alleluia. Oh, 
Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of thy mystical feast. For I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies. Nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief will I confess you. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Master, remember me in your kingdom. O Holy One, remember me in your kingdom. Tu dipno su tu mistiku simeroni eteu, ino non me paralave. O mi gatis e Christu to mysteri onipo, o fili masi doso katha pero iuda. Alo solisti somologosi, nisti timu kirie en di vasilia su, Nisti timu despota endi vasiliasu. 
Νίστητη μου Άγιε, εν τη βασιλεία σου. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of thy mystical feast, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief will I confess you. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Master, remember me in your kingdom. O Holy One, remember me in your kingdom. <laughs> Servant of God, David, receives the most precious body. Oh, oh, oh. 
Taken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, evening let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. We thank you, God, our Savior, of us all for all the good things you have given us and for the communion of your holy body and blood of your Christ. And we pray to you, loving Master, protect us under the covering of your wings and grant that we may worthily partake of your blessings to the end of our days for the illumination of our souls and bodies to inherit the kingdom of heaven. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Master, you created the universe in wisdom. By your ineffable forethought and great goodness, you led us to these sacred days for cleansing of souls and bodies, for subduing passions, and for hope of resurrection. For forty days you shaped the tablets written with godlike characters for your servant Moses. 
Grant also to us, good Lord, to fight the good fight, to finish the course of the fast, to keep the faith whole, to shatter the heads of unseen dragons, and to show ourselves victorious over sin, and to arrive blamelessly without condemnation, to worship also your holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is your honored and magnificent name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord our God, you have led us to these sacred Blessed days. Blessed be us the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ages. Of your kingdom now and ever to the ages. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the age. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing and the mercy of the Lord come upon you by his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. If you have not, if you have not received Holy Communion, please come forward uh, for Antidoron, for Blessed Bread. And please join us uh, next door after the service is over for our uh, Lenten potluck meal and for a, uh, a presentation with Father John. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My mouth shall be praised in the Lord. Let the gentle hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my sojourning. Come to him and be enlightened and your face shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his afflictions. The angel of the Lord shall encamp around those who fear him and he will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want for those who fear him. Rich men turn poor and went hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come to you, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. <clears throat> who is the man who desires life, who loves to see good days? <clears throat> Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Shun evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their supplication. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you. Again, please join us next door, if you're able, for our potluck meal and for presentation with Father John.